my paintball bag video, uh, gear bag video. Um, unique paintball rolling gear bag. It's very large, got a lot of storage space, and I've got it pretty full. See the size are kind of blowing out. But it comes with uh, four pockets on the sides, one large, one small on each side. Mass pocket up here at the top, nice and padded. And then this little long, narrow uh, pocket back here um, for uh, packs or pods or whatever. So first I'm going to show you this one, side pocket, this is where I keep uh, my Halo. The Halo B with a victory board and rip drive. And uh, I got a spare Halo in here and some microfiber cleaning cloths. Uh, I usually keep two or three with me so I can have one dirty one to wipe off everything with and one clean one to uh, make it look all pretty for you. Uh, this little pocket, little pocket here. I uh, got my gloves, some dye C4 gloves. Uh, I got an old old pack in there. I don't really use it. It's just kind of in there. It's actually a buddy of mine's, and I'm just keeping it warm. Uh, on this side, big pocket on this side. Got some spare batteries. Uh, parts kit for uh, teammates DM4, radar cron, and my little parts trays. Uh, top tray's got my oil, lube, my hex wrenches in there. And this is my main spare parts tray. It's just got bolts, regulators, triggers, micro line. Uh, stuff that if something goes down in the field, it's good to have. Uh, the other small pocket on this side just houses uh, a lot of. Uh, extra little junk, I'm not even going to go into it, it's just like barrel barrel condoms, uh, spare gloves, lanyards, just little stuff that I just showed in there. Side pocket here has my pack. It's a System X 4.3 pack, uh, four pods, just keep them in there, makes it easier. Uh, front mask pack, or pocket, sorry. Uh, here's my mask, it's a V-Force Profiler, gray and black, with a little forehead protector shield on there. Love this thing. Um, some of the best goggles that I, best goggles I've used, and I think some of the best goggles on the market. A lot of people would agree with me. Got this nice little goggle bag that actually came with uh, my other mask, which is a V-Force Morph. The the visor not attached to it. Last time uh, a friend of mine used it, he didn't like the visor, so I took it off. I like D-Force, I'm a D-Force guy. This bag actually came with that morph, and uh, I like it better than the one that came with my profile. Profiler because it's smaller, you don't have a whole bunch of extra crap. All right, main box. All right, main pocket's got my three, three uh, compartments in it. Uh, we'll start with this one. Here I got my pants. Just, uh, Proto gray and black pants. Uh, here's a, my spare, my spare tank, or if I'm, it's a smaller, it's a 45, 45, 45 PSI uh, Nitro Duck tank. It's, it's got about 500 PSI in it. Uh, Blue Empire tank cover is actually a uh, backup tank. Uh, just smaller, I like it sometimes. Um, here's my old autococker. Uh, this is actually my th my third marker in here. Uh, keep it just in case, because you never know. Uh, custom auto cocker, e blade. It's really nice. Just a little on the heavy side. Um, spare Diablo lanyard from my radar cron, actually. Another microfiber cloth. And pretty much all that's left in here is swabs, squeegees, little hundred round pod. And got a couple of barrels down here that I don't really use. And here's another swab. Here's another swab. So, or squeegee, sorry. And then, um, the side part, got my uh, Under Armour compression fit shirt, which is really great down here in Texas because it gets to be like in the 100 plus degrees. Um, my jersey, dyed 2004 Core Division jersey. Uh, knee pads, just general all-purpose sports Nike knee pads. They work great. Well, I paid twice as much for Empire or anything like that. Um, 
pod. Uh, here's a hat I play in. It's been beat up, left out in the sun. It's really dirty. Uh, old t-shirt that I tore up and I use it as a cleaning mat. Uh, Buddy's tank. It's a uh, 88 cubic inch, 4500 psi uh, pure energy tank. It's past hydro. Um, the reg seat on it is out, so we don't really use it. We need to get it fixed. But it's his, so whatever he wants to do with it. A little Red's barrel barrel bag. It's got a, uh, a WGP caner barrel kit in it. Four backs, three fronts. It's what I used to use. Still have back up. Um, just another pod and a random NXE barrel cover. On the center pocket, I got my main tank. It's a 70 cubic inch, 4500 psi uh, WGP war gas tank. About to swap out the regulator with the Ninja Reg, so I can get it hydro at the same time. Uh, just an old, old school dye Rhino cover. Still works, so I don't get rid of it. Uh, two more random pods. Uh, my Freak barrel kit. All right, now onto my markers. Here's my backup marker. It's a uh, Fusion F7 silver with a blue hypercolor kit in it. Uh, it's got the wraps on there. Quick lever action on off. Dangerous Power barrel cover with a stock. Uh, fusion bolt with uh, the blue front that came with the parts kit. It's my backup. And here's my main. It is a Dangerous Powers Fusion F8. Uh, silver and black, Dark Knight Special Edition. It's got a 14 inch freak on it with a black back and a dust gray front. Uh, give a match out to uh, TNS Paintball uh, on for making these Special Edition Fusion F8s. And more importantly, for knocking $150 off the price. Bought this thing brand new in box for uh, $300. So thank you very much, TNS Paintball. And uh, that's pretty much my gear. Uh, hope you enjoy. Peace out.